Okay, welcome back, Year 9, to another lesson. Uh, now, last lesson, we looked at quartiles um, as a way of describing data. This lesson, we're going to be looking at a way of displaying data that includes that quartile information. So, we're looking at box plots. Okay, we're going to learn how to read them, and we're also going to learn how to make them ourselves. So, from this box plot, find the following. We've got to find the highest score, the lowest score, and the range of the scores. Okay, later on, we'll have to find the median, and then the upper quartile, the lower quartile, and the interquartile range. So, all of that information is given in this one diagram here, uh, the box plot that shows uh, those pieces of information. So, what do or how are all of those pieces of information shown in a box plot? Well, we can see here a box plot contains uh, this line here with a little dash on the end. Um, it has this big solid rectangle section here with a line uh, in it, inside of it, a big thick line there. And then we also have another little line poking out with a little dash on the end as well. What does it all mean? Well, the highest score is going to be given by the little dash right at the end here. So this line out here and the dash in is going to tell us what the highest score is. In the same way, the lower score is given by this dash at the end of this uh, line here. So um, we can then use those highest score and the lowest score to find out what the absolute range is, the range of the scores of data. So for part A, whoops. Okay, for part A, we just look at these lines here, they'll find the highest, lower, and then we can find the range. So the highest here, if we look at our little scale, that's at 50, and we're going up. Looks like we're going up by two, so 52, 54, 56, 58 is going to be our highest score. Okay, given by this one on the right, the far end dash. The uh, far end dash on the left is going to give us the lowest score, so that's going to be 10, 12, 14, and it's halfway between 14 and 16, so it's going to be 15 as the lowest score there. Okay. And then uh, the range of the scores, okay, we can calculate from the highest and the lowest. So the range is just going to be the highest minus the lowest. Okay, and that's going to give us 43 as the range here. Okay, so that's what those little bits at the end uh, give us uh, the whiskers that sometimes known as uh, is that information there okay now the median is the easiest to find the median is the big thick line in the middle so in your box in the middle of the box well it's not always in the middle you can see here it's slightly off center uh, but inside the box the median is the big thick line you can see it's just in between 40 and 42 so the median is going to be 41 in this example. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna find the upper quartile, lower quartile, and the interquartile range. The upper quartile is given by the end of the box on the right. The uh, lower quartile is given by the end of the box on the left. So the upper quartile is this end of the box on the right, which is 50. The lower quartile is the end of the box on the left, which is just in between uh, 22 and 24, uh, so it's going to be 23. And the interquartile range, again, is just going to be the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, which gives us 27 as our interquartile range there. Okay, so all of that information is shown in a box plot. It kind of shows that spread in the center as well um, of the data quite nicely. So now we're going to draw our own little box plot. Okay, uh, so we've got a ranked data. We've got a higher score of 65, lower score of 42, median is 58, upper quartile is 60, and lower quartile is 49. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show uh, the highest and the lowest. Now we don't want to uh, draw it all out at once. We've got to be careful as we do this. But firstly, I've got my little scale here. We're going up by twos. Each line is two. So 65 is going to be in between 64 and 66. So we're going to draw our 
line in between there here. Now we're not gonna finish that off. That's gonna be our highest score. What I wanna do next is I actually wanna find out what the upper quartile is because that's gonna be the end of the box on the right, which uh, my whisk is gonna attach to. So once I've got the highest score, I wanna find the upper quartile, uh, which is at 60. So that's when my rectangle is gonna begin at 60. And then I can complete my whisker there. Okay, my little line that shows the uh, gap between the high score and the upper quartile. Okay, then the median is going to be 58, which is just two lower than this one. So we've got a big, thick line um, at 58. There must have been a lot of scores around there because this is a very skewed graph. So median, thick line. at 58, and then the lower quartile is gonna be at 49, which is halfway between 48 and 50. So that rectangle is gonna end here. So then I can close my rectangle there, or my box, in my box plot. Lastly, I'm just gonna include uh, the lower score. So the lower score is at 42 here. And then I can draw my little whisker attached to that. Okay, and I've drawn my box plot here. It contains uh, the lowest score. So the way I did it, I went from right to left, from highest, highest, and then the upper, the median, lower quartile, and then the lowest score. Um, it's best if you go, you can go the other way. You can go from left to right, um, but it's just the easiest uh, to complete the scores if you're sort of thinking from what's the highest value you're going to be. And then the next highest one is going to be upper quarter, et cetera, et cetera. So you're moving kind of in one direction as you uh, draw the box plot. You could move in the other direction as well, just in the same way. Okay, lastly, what do we notice about this data set? Well, we notice that the median is quite off center from our box. It's very shifted, very close to the upper quarter. So what that shows is we're going to have a very negatively skewed data set. That is, we're going to have lots um, of points that are sort of closer to. Um, that upper quartile bit and then there's this sort of tail um, of spread out uh, lower scores there so you can sort of see that skewness in your box plot quite easily uh, seeing how far left or right the median is in your rectangle bit the box part of your box plot okay i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one